Welcome to the demonstration of using keylines to visualize and analyze the data in a Titan database. Titan is a graph database developed by Aurelius. It's getting a lot of interesting traction because of its scalable architecture, its graph traversal algorithms, and its extensibility. Today we're going to be looking at how to build an application using keylines as the front end, which allows end users to interact with and visualize the data in a Titan database. Because Titan is fully compatible with the Blueprint model, we will be using an open source REST-based front end to Titan called Rexter. Using Rexter allows keylines to submit queries into the Titan database via an AJAX request and receive the data back from Titan via Rexter in a JSON object format. We then have some JavaScript code to apply the visual styling to those query results so that the users can see the data objects in their browser and interact with them. The demonstration of what we're showing today has the basic building blocks of how to build an application connecting these two technologies. A full-fledged application would have a much richer user interface and allow for much better interactivity between the end user and the Titan database. We've created a sample data set in Titan that has the countries of the world as the nodes and the dollar value of the goods and services traded between those countries as the edges. Here we're starting with Belgium and we're capturing the double click event within Keylines to query the Titan database via Rexter for all of Belgium's trading partners. You can see those return quickly onto the chart. We've bound the link width to the value of the trading relationship between those two countries and also use the hover event to show more detail about that relationship. In the demo, we show the URL that was queried by Keylines and the JSON object that got returned by clicking on two buttons here, one for the vertices and one for the edges. If we look at the vertices, for example, we see a JSON object that shows all of the countries that Belgium has a trading relationship with. Clicking on edges will show the JSON object that represents all of the connections between the countries and the value of the goods and services being traded between those countries. Let's take a look at the source code to see how an application like this was built. As with all of the demonstrations on the Keylines SDK site, the source is fully available for inspection. We're not going to walk through every line of the code today, but we are going to look at a few key areas of this code. We have a function called expand clicked data, which is run when a user double clicks on a node within Keylines. In this case, what we're doing is we're building the query that's passed up to Rexter to get all of the trading partners of the node that's clicked on of the country. Just below that, we have our function called call Rexter, which is a basic AJAX call using jQuery to pass that query up to Rexter itself. You'll notice that in the call Rexter function, the callback runs something called translate items to keylines. This is because the Rexter interface returns only the data and doesn't have any, any information about how to visualize that data and how to display it on a chart. So we have a function that will iterate through all of the items in the JSON response and apply visual styling to it. Identify the URL for the image that we'd like to use as the node icon. Identify the link, width of the link and how to draw it on the chart along with the coloring scheme. We run a layout on the items as they're returned and various things like that. This process is repeated for additional expansions. So if I were to double click on a new country, say Greece, we'll go off and find all of the trading partners of that country that aren't currently visualized on the chart and start to draw new data. Each time I do that, we get new information on our chart where the layouts can become particularly useful at identifying the key countries that are the economic powerhouses in the area. It's worth pointing out that every single visual aspect of this chart can be customized via the JavaScript code. So the node images, the link widths, the link coloring, the font, the font size, uh, virtually everything can be customized to the type of data that you've collected in your Titan database. What we've shown today really just scratches the surface at what an application built using both Titan and Keylines could accomplish please contact us at keylines.com if you have any questions or would like to evaluate keylines. Thank you very much.